All right, guess where we're going? I am fit, I am slim, I am sexy. I love sex. I built successful businesses. I live the life that I love. The house behind me, I want to tell you a story and I want to connect the dots a little bit about the affirmations and why it's important. The a couple of years ago, 2009, I lost my job after the crisis and I took the severance package that I got and I rented a house, small shack, small cottage, out uh, on the east end of the Lone Island for a whole month of August and took my little kids. Uh, the youngest was not even two at that point and the oldest was about five. And every day I would jog five miles each way to the next village over. And you would think I was affirming a job, I was thinking about my career and all that stuff, and, and I wasn't. I was thinking about the house, the house that you saw behind me. And at that point, there was no job, there was no huge savings account, there, was little, there were little kids, there were a lot of roadblocks. There were a lot of unrealistic assumptions that I was making. And I wasn't dwelling on those at all. I was imagining the house and how we lived in it. And I was living in the, I was leave, living in the future. So for the most part of the day, we'll live in the present past. So if I dwell on the weight and not the business build and whatever else, and I'm not flying my private jet yet around the world as I imagine uh, traveling and enjoying this beautiful planet and this beautiful cultures and people. So if I sit and dwell on what is, I'm stuck in the past. And the mind, the most amazing capacity, this beautiful computer, this machine that we have on our shoulders, is not to think through how and what. That is secondary. That it will do. Um, the most brilliant thing is to transform you and take you from your present past to your present future. And what you focus on expands in life. And if you only think of what is, that's what's gonna expand. You think how sick you are, of how this or that, never get your ass off the couch, you never peel yourself off. You're always comfortable. And whatever you achieved, you settle for some sort of a status quo. And you think very mundane goals and you plan for retirement and for college education and all the things that we were taught to believe that we ought to think about, plan for. So back to that house. So as I was jogging for a month of August, just dreaming and imagining unimaginable something that wasn't feasible at all well guess what six months later I had a job I had a job sooner than that and I sort of knew that I will have it so I didn't have to dream much about it it wasn't it's not what inspires you that you need to focus your time and mind energy on you need to think about what inspires you what would create the feeling that you want to feel and that's your future present and as you focus on it it expands and the universe conspires on your behalf and something happens and something that you didn't think will ever happen happens and you fly across the oceans and you're on a different planet a different country and and all of a sudden you are in in the place that you always wanted to live just because you allowed yourself to dream 
because you transplanted yourself into that future reality before that reality even manifested. So don't dwell on your past and how it is now. Don't spend your precious, precious energy, the, uh, the mind power to imagine, to create through imagination. Don't dwell on that. Don't get stuck in that. Pull yourself together and go affirm or create a feeling inside as if it all happened. Be loose, be, be crazy, who cares? Whose life are you living? Imagine the future and I guarantee you, the harder you imagine, the more wild power you put into it and really feel it and get carried on with your dreams and don't think how it's gonna happen. We don't know how, we don't know anything. Just do, just live in the future present as much as you can. Cultivate the, cultivate the feeling inside of you that inspires you. Sorry for a long vlog.